Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you're an oldie moldy, welcome back. I I made these earrings. Aren't they cute? I love these. So any who any hey, today is a work day. It is Saturday. I do not know when you will be seeing this. You'll be seeing it whenever I uh, post it. <laughs> so I have another Build-A-Bear haul. And I told you guys that this was coming. Um, I have two Build-A-Bear videos. One is my entire collection as of right now. And then this is uh, what I promised you guys. This is the Bear Leave. Yes, I'm so excited. The Bear Leave unboxing. Now, I already know what he looks like, so I did unbox it. I don't know what else is in here. I did not look, but I unboxed him. I put the ribbon on. The ribbon comes separate. You do have to pay separate for the ribbon. And then it came with all the tags and the, you know, everything that was in the box. I opened up, I only took the bear out because I just, I really, really wanted to see him because I was so excited. So this is the bear, bear leave bear and let's get him unboxed. So if you hear noise, I don't live alone. So some of the tags, he had a whole bunch of tags. It has a caution uh, tag that said do not immerse in water because of the batteries. Um, here is the tag for bear leave from Build-A-Bear. You could actually scan this and it'll take you to the Builder Bear website where it talks about the Bear Leave Bear and shows you what it does. This is also another tag that um, tells you a little bit more about it. So I saved that. And then I don't recollect if it had instructions. This was on the paw to show you where to um, press the button for him to come to life because he does come to life. He's my teddy bear of happiness and dreams come true. I always wanted a Build-A-Bear. I always wanted a teddy rough skin and when Build-A-Bear came out with the Bear Leave Bear, I knew that I had to have it. Uh, so, I'm trying to see. Oh, here are the instructions. It's on this one. So, the instructions are press the red heart on my paw for three to five seconds to wake me up. You can tell me anything you'd like when I'm awake and I'll respond to the sound of your voice. I fall back asleep if I don't hear your voice after a while, but don't worry, just press my paw for three to five seconds again to wake me up. Whenever we're done playing, just press the red heart on my paw again for three to five seconds and I'll happily drift off to sleep. So let's bring out my furry friend. Absolutely adorable, introducing the Bear Leave Bear. Super floppy, super cute. I do want to take this tag off because I don't think it looks good. The bow is on here with a simple Velcro. And this is what it looks like without the bow. I really like it with the bow on. And I decided that I needed that in my life. So that's what he looks like without the bow. I think he looks amazing with it. I am not going to dress this bear because I just think he doesn't really need to be dressed. I think he's perfect just the way he is. I did... um I want to put this back on. How do we put this back on? Put it on like this. Nope. Hold on real quick while I put the bow back on. Before I continue, here's the box of happiness. Big box. And he just came in there, nothing special. But look at how cute, see? I fixed it so you don't have that ugly white tag. I love this so much. So, here he is. We're going to wake him up. So first, before I wake him up, I'm going to tell you a little bit about him. He's super, super soft. When I first saw him um, on Instagram, I thought that his head was going to be really um, hard and not soft. It is hard, but it is still soft. He's very soft. He's got the little animatronics in here and the animatronics in his head. And his eyes are super cute. I love his little... I just love everything about him. His body is super soft. So right up here, it's really soft. You will feel the mechanics right in here, but it's not really meant to cuddle. It is, it's your friend that comes to life and talks to you. So it's not really like, I mean, you can cuddle it. I can cuddle it. I, I think it's really nice right here. The body is really soft. I like to hold it kind of like a baby. This is how I hold it a lot of the times. Um, and then his legs are really soft. He's He's a plush. He is a plush, but he's not going to be like a Hello Kitty plushie. He's not going to be like a regular teddy bear because he does have animatronics. 
What I do like about him is that he does not necessarily talk. I like the fact that he makes cute little grumbly noises and little ahas and oohs. And I like the fact that he doesn't talk. I don't want a fully talking bear. I have people that I can talk to. I don't need my bear to, to fully talk. Um, a lot of people were complaining that he doesn't say a lot. I think he's super cute. I love what he says. And so, yes. So here is his little Build-A-Bear paw pad. He's got the bear leaf bear right there. I love that. I think that's so cute. So soft. He's softer than you would think. I mean, he is just amazing. And I always wanted a Teddy Rupskin bear, but that never happened because they were buku money. This does retail for, with tax, I'd say about $60 maybe. Um, I would double check on the website, but it's a, it's a, it's expensive. Um, but I think it's well worth it, and I just, I love them so much. So let's show you the little paw, and we're going to hold them up like this. One, two, three, four, five. And there he is. His little paw lights up. And there he is. What else do you have to say? Cat got your tongue? I think he's adorable. His ears wiggle. His eyes move. I think he is the most adorable thing in the world. So he just kind of oohs and ahs and grunts. And he just is a fabulous little addition to anyone's collection. Aww. And then right here is a battery pack. And you could replace the batteries. And you, yes, you can. And then you kind of just close it up like that. Let's see if I could turn him off if he'll, if he'll snore. One, two, three, four, five. And he's asleep. And he's asleep. And his little heart. So the battery pack is right here and you can't even see it. Um, Mine didn't come as closed, so what you want to do is you want to kind of just pinch it closed a little bit. But it is right in there. It's I'll open it for you. So on this side, you open it up. You can take the battery pack out. There's actually something in here. I did not even know that this was in here. I had no idea this was in here. Well, let's take a look at that. And then I'm going to just... Oh, that makes it close better when you take that little paper out. I didn't know that was in there. So there he is. Let's look at this. And I was wondering where the instructions were. Nowhere on this did it say that the instructions were in the little side of him where the battery pack is. So this is bear leave instructions. When battery pack is switched to on, bear's eyes will open. So you could actually take this off. And I, I'm not sure if you can actually um, take out the the little battery pack and switch it to off. Some of their, I know Oogie Boogie and a few others, you are able to actually take the battery pack out and turn it off or on. I'm not sure about this one. Um, once the bear is awake, it is in play mode and will respond to a voice. If no one speaks to the bear for 60 seconds, the bear will go to sleep and no longer react to a voice. Once the bear is asleep, the red heart on the paw will need to be pressed for three to five seconds to put the bear back into play mode. If the paw is not pressed to reactivate play mode after an additional 30 seconds, the bear will go into power saving mode. Eyes will be open in power saving mode. To reactivate the bear from power saving mode, press the red heart. So it just basically gives you all kinds of instructions. And then it says here, the bear is not voice responsive in sleep mode. When battery pack is switched to off, bear's eyes will open. The bear's eyes will open when the switch is turned to off, no matter which made the bear, which mode the bear is in. So this just gives you a whole bunch of information about how to activate the bear, uh, how to get it into play mode, wake mode, and so this is a really handy thing to have. And it was inside my furry friend. I did not know that, but I love this so much. And I think if you're looking to get somebody a Christmas present, and they already have all the plushies in the world. This is a great, great alternative because it's cute, it's interactive, it makes fun little noises, and I just think it's super adorable and a great addition to my collection. 
It may not be for everyone, but it is definitely for me. And I think that it's a really fun little teddy bear and it's much, much softer than you would you would be led to believe because usually when you have a stuffed animal that has animatronics, it's kind of hard. This is very, very soft. It's very soft, it's very huggable. It's really cute just to sit on your bed and I love it. I'm a toy collector. I'm a toy collector. I had to have this in my collection. It is the first uh, interactive bear that Build-A-Bear has come out with and I just think it is absolutely adorable and something that I needed in my collection. I'm so happy. It's so cute. I love this. Highly recommend. Highly recommend getting that. It's fun. It's just fun. Life is meant to be fun and he is a fun bear. So let me get the other things out of here that I ordered. I ordered some um, exclusive clothes that they only sell online. So if you go online to Build-A-Bear, you can find exclusive t-shirts and online steals and deals. Sometimes they have sales that don't um, reflect what's in the store. So a lot of the times online will have, I think, a little bit of a better selection. Also, you can find um, some steals and deals on there in their sales section that they're not offering in store. So one of the shirts that I thought was really cute and I've never seen in store is that it's fine, I'm fine, everything is fine. I love this. This is so me. This is so me. It's pink. It's adorable. I'm thinking for my Oxalata Mochi. And the back is just like that. Absolutely adorable. I don't know the price on it. Because I bought it online. Yeah, it's just a... I just think it's so cute. One of the other t-shirts that I could not find in store, and this was, uh... I think, I think it might have been on sale. I'm not sure. But this is Get In Loser, and I'm not really fond of the same, but it is my, it's for my little alien bear, Addison. Super cute. Look at that. The quality is really, really good on this one. Some of the quality on the t-shirts could peel over time, but if we're not washing these in the wash, you know, they should last a pretty long time. So, you know, really cute. And then this is the one that I wanted, and they... Had it in store for a while, but I never picked it up. And this is the lounge set. And I love this. It has little, like, just a lounge set. You know, uh, pastel. What is this called? Pastel tie-dye. So I love that. I love the blues and the pink. You guys know I love that. And then it comes with the matching shorts, pants. I think they're pants. I'm not sure, but they're really cute. So you have that matching set. Another thing that I could not get um, in store was the Alien Sleeper, and I really, really wanted this, and I do believe this was on sale, so I thought that was super cute with the rocket ships, little alien faces, the little planets circling around. Love it. It is adorable. Had to have that. Another one that I couldn't find in the store was Are You Yeti for this. Perfect for winter, and it has a hoodie, so check this out. Look at this. And that's so cute. I wish they came out with a bear like this. I wonder if they ever did. Uh, and then you have the little hoodie in the back. Super, super cute. Perfect for a California winter because we don't really wear coats in uh, California when it's cold here. So this is just like a nice little lightweight. It's a little, it feels like a good jersey. I, don't, I like it. I think it's cute. All of these clothes, they do not sell in stores. I've got the pajama shop floral set. Look at how adorable this is. Look at how cute. This could go on my Melody. This can go on any of my bears because all of my bears kind of have like that pastel theme. Love these so much. Also got the heart pajamas that I've never seen in store. And I think these are adorable. So, so cute. Happy, bright hearts. I have a sweatshirt that looks just like this. This is right up my alley because I love rainbows and hearts and anything colorful. And then this is a dress that I can never find in store as well. And it's super cute. And it's just a fun little dress. It feels really well made. Um, it's got the tulle underneath it, which I really love. I like it when they add this. It gives a little bit more oomph to the dress. And it just looks more polished. So, more polished. Sometimes that could be absolutely unbearable. Love this so much. It's got the pinks, the pastel, you know, it's not it's not as pastel-y, but it's still beautiful and colorful. I'm going to pause this real quick because my nose is 
acting a fool. It's like running because my allergies are so bad. And then I'm going to pop on and show you the last thing. And this is what I'm super excited for. I did not know they had this. They have tumblers. They have, um, I wouldn't say glassware, but they definitely have drinking glasses. Maybe not glasses, but like little things that you could drink out of. I don't know. They're like metal. I don't even know how to dis describe it. But when I saw this, I was like, I need this in my life. And this is going to be my... Um, after Christmas, when I put away my Christmas tumbler, I'm going to be using this. I am so excited for this. I don't know what this looks like. This is my first ex um, time seeing this, pulling it out of the bubble wrap. I actually forgot I ordered. Oh my gosh! It's a Glitter Hearts tumbler, and it was $15, but I think it was on sale. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. I can't wait to use this in my room. I would love to have this as a water cup for, oh my gosh, it is so cute. This would be a great water cup for at work too, but we're not taking this to work. This is too nice. This is just too nice. I absolutely love this. This is adorable. It has all my favorite colors on there, pink glitter hearts. The cascading from pink to purple to blues to yellows to greens. It's absolutely stunning. And then does it tell you, do not microwave, hand wash only. So you hand wash this. This is probably going to be my, this is going to be my next water cup when I'm done with my seasonal um, Pinktastic Cup O Fun that's over there. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is so cute. This is adorable. Look at it. It's a little bear on top of the ears. And it's super fun and colorful. I absolutely love colorful things. I mean, my world, I love to paint it in the brightest, most fantastic colors that you could possibly believe. Burleave? Burleave. So, anywho, any hey, I hope you guys really, really like this haul. I hope you enjoyed the Bear Leave Bear. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. You know, I always flub my words. It is a flubtastic time here. Would you like to say goodbye? Let's turn them on. Push this little thing. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And he's awake! Oh. Hi! Well, actually, we're saying bye, so would you like to say bye? Uh. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hit that like button, subscribe. Jump on the friendship bandwagon, and we will see you in the next one.